Here's another event making news around the parish. On September 18th, the first methodology to transact wetland carbon credits was approved for the Mississippi Delta area. St. Charles Parish, along with Entergy, Rathborn Land Company, and Tierra Resources, will be implementing a pilot project at the Luling Oxidation Ponds. This project is the first of its kind in the United States. So what that means is that gives industry the opportunity to invest in wetland restoration to offset their emissions. So wetlands naturally sequester carbon through photosynthesis. As they grow, they take carbon dioxide out of the air, and that carbon in the carbon dioxide gets incorporated into the roots, the trees, and with wetlands, the soils. So wetlands are actually one of the most carbon sequestering ecosystems in the world, but there's never been a way to transact wetland carbon credits before. The American Carbon Registry, a voluntary market, nationally certified the first methodology. So what we are now kicking off, which we're really excited about, and it's in partnership with St. Charles Parish and Rathborn Land Company, is the first pilot project and it focuses on the wetland assimilation system. And what we'll do is we'll look at the difference of carbon before the wetland assimilation system started and after. And that difference is what we hope to market to help fund innovative wetland restoration and infrastructure like the oxidation pond. Retired LSU professor Dr. John Day explains how this project will improve the wetlands and how it will benefit St. Charles Parish. We have a little business called Comey Resources that work with uh, uh, towns and parishes like St. Charles to use wetlands as part of the uh, uh, dealing with uh, municipal waste. And about 10 years ago we started talking to St. Charles Parish about uh, using wetlands and what's called wetland assimilation. And they had these two ponds here but the ponds had the, the, the regulations were becoming stricter and the ponds couldn't meet the limits to go to the canal here that we're standing next to. And so we approached them to say, well, well let's go to the wetlands. And, and the idea is if you go to the wetlands, the, you have uh, nitrogen and phosphorus in the effluent here. And if you go to the wetlands, uh, these plants assimilate those. And so you don't have uh, high nutrients going into water bodies and having algal blooms, for instance. But we also found out that it increases the growth rate of the, of the vegetation in there, so it makes it a healthier environment. And, and remember that this is treated, it's not untreated, and it's also uh, disinfected. So this is, and it doesn't have any toxic materials in it, so that it's tested, uh, it, the testing is required. And also we monitor this system to ensure that it stays healthy. And so we've found that, uh, that you know, we have higher growth rates in the swamp. We have, find that it cleans up as the water flows through it, it becomes cleaner. In fact, it becomes as clean as, cleaner than the water body that it's going into. And, and also, because they're not having to build a big, uh, expensive plant, uh, they save a lot of money. The alternative to doing the wetland assimilation was, one of the alternatives was to take this water and pump it down to the Hanville plant and upgrade to Hanville plant, then that would have cost over $10 million. This project right here cost less than a million. So they saved about $10 million by doing this and we're enhancing the natural environment. And we're monitoring it to, to make sure it, it, it's working fine. In short, the project will enhance wildlife and fisheries and the wetlands restoration will not only provide jobs, but will also help protect against storm surge and preserve the culture and livelihoods in St. Charles Parish. For more information about the Luling Carbon Credit Pilot Program and other projects throughout the parish, log on to www.stcharlesparish-la.gov.